If you drop a heavy block of tungsten off a boat, does the water level technically rise, lower, or stay exactly the same? Pause now to make your prediction in the comments. It turns out dropping it off a boat technically lowers the water. This might seem about as unintuitive as those credit card machines that rapidly switch between keep card inserted and do not remove card. But that's because you're probably used to liquid levels rising when you add stuff. However, by witnessing a carefully constructed experiment, you'll see that this fact actually becomes quite obvious. This is tungsten, one of the densest elements you can easily buy on the internet. Placing it in a beaker of water, you see a little over 15 milliliters of water is displaced. This makes sense because the volume of one block, which is one cubic inch, is a little over 16 milliliters. Placing the same one inch cube, but this time wood, which is less dense than water, you'll see that it floats, and although the water level still rises, it only displaces about 7.5 milliliters of water. 7.5 milliliters of water weighs 7.5 grams, which is around the weight of this wood block. This shows a critical difference between floating objects and sunk objects. A sunk object simply displaces its own volume. Meanwhile, to get an object to float, you need to displace enough water that it equals the weight of that object. In order to make the heavy tungsten cube float, you'd need to displace a little more than 19 cubes of water. For simplicity though, I'm just going to pretend it's 18 times more dense because it'll make this upcoming visualization easier. It might seem like placing 18 cubes of wood underneath the tungsten would be enough, but that would be failing to account for the weight of those additional cubes. The wood is about half as dense as water, so every two cubes weighs one cube of water. So for 18 blocks of wood, that'd be an additional nine cubes of water that need to be displaced. So you can keep iterating through this to find the minimum number of wood cubes that would be able to keep the tungsten floating and just barely above the water. If you instead use styrofoam, which is 1 20th the density of water, you can do the same process and see that a styrofoam boat can be much smaller. That's the theory, but in practice this is a pretty horrible way to design a boat, because it's so top heavy that any slight offset of the tungsten block will create a moment and the boat will completely tip over. I didn't want to just make it flatter because then the container of water would need to be bigger and it wouldn't exaggerate the effect as much. To actually exaggerate the effect, I needed to use this annoying skinny vase that gets the tungsten block stuck every time it sinks and is surprisingly difficult to remove. Rather than try to lower the center of gravity by adding weights or simply holding the styrofoam block in place, I can just invert the boat and then use a sophisticated time release mechanism to drop it. With this in place, hopefully it becomes obvious that the weight of the tungsten cube is currently causing a little over 19 cubes of water to be displaced, but when it's dropped in 3, 2, 1, now it's only displacing 1 cube of water. That roughly 18 cubes of water difference can be easily seen in the before and after shot where the water level clearly lowers. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.